Hello friends, welcome you all again. Today we have a Brunton compass. This is very basic and essential instrument for the geologist all over the world. So this Brunton compass was patented by Canadian geologist in 1894 and the name of this Canadian geologist was David W. Brunton. Okay, so this is a very basic instrument and, and as you know, this is very essential also. So this Brunton compass was made by Brunton compass company and the cost of this instrument in India is around 76,000. Okay, but there is lots of variations and lots of type of instrument uh, Brunton compass instrument available in the market uh, and the value of these Brunton compass varies from 700 rupees to 80,000 and more than 80,000 in Indian market. So this is basically depends on the availability of the instrument so what is the basic difference between the, those instrument and this instrument so this um, i am talking about this instrument this instrument the variation of the magnetic needle and the accuracy of magnetic needle is two degree okay so that's why this one is very stable um, brenton compass and what is the nomenclature here you can see here this is there is a outer scale so this scale is basically known as the graduated scale okay then we have another scale you can see in between that varies from 90 degree to 90 degree so on this scale we measure the dip amount then we have another screw here small one and the value varies from 60 degree to 60 degree this one is known as the vernier and it is used to inclination measurement with an accuracy to 30 minutes then we have a long circular bubble or leveling or we can say cylindrical labeling okay so this cylindrical uh, labeling basically to use to to measure or to put bring this these as is horizontal and these as is horizontal then we have another label also that is known as circular label what happened this circular labor label put the base as a horizontal line why we uh, bring this circular bubble in center and bring this base as a horizontal because due to this horizontal base what happened this magnetic needle can rotate freely okay then we have a object mirror also suppose that our um, object is very far so what how we can use it we can see the object in this mirror through this vein okay through this vein so we put the object and we align the object with this tip of our, our object observer and the object mirror so we can measure the north direction so we have to remember always this tip point always towards the object object can be a, a thing or can be a dip direction or can be a strike direction also okay so now we have uh, some more facility in this brenton compass as you can see here we have a graduated scale here also and we have one more scale here also so this one is in mm from 0 to 40 mm and this scale can be used in the field to measure the aperture opening and the thickness of the veins also so there is a rough scale on this brenton compass now we have the uh, graduated scale here that varies from 90 degree to 90 degree so what is the use of this scale so suppose that we have an inclination plane here so what we have to do we have to put this plane we have to put this back on this plane and we have to bring the circular level in the center so what happened here directly we can measure the dip direction from here as you can see this is approximately 37 degree okay so with this with the help of this instrument or this brenton compass we can work very easily and very in in very fast way so basically when we go for the engineering geological purpose we have to collect more and more data in the field um, like joints data different types of joint data as well as the uh, fold data and shear zone data so this instrument help us to minimize our time as well as the accuracy also so this is all about the Brenton compass of this instrument and this is the end of the video. I will come very soon with the field videos also how to measure the dip and strike in the field and how to collect the different types of discontinuity data. Thank you very much. God bless you all.